Well, first of all, Calvin, I'm going to start with an apology. Because from where we were, in our competitive position, we thought that goal had taken the deflection. But it didn't take a deflection. We were quickly put right. How did it feel? I couldn't believe it when I heard it. Everyone was saying, no, it took a deflection. Um, everyone was asking me, did it take a deflection? I was thinking, I'm 99% sure it didn't. Like, um, But it obviously, it looked like it did. Um, but... But yeah, I was absolutely thrilled when it seeing it at the back of the net. Yeah, talk us through it outside of the boot. Yeah, it was uh, obviously it came rolling across. Um, my ex teammate set me up actually. I was at Plymouth with him, <laughs> 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 and um, yeah, he just he just came across me, and I was just thinking, uh, I was just thinking, uh, nice clean contact, hit across the ball, and um, unfortunately, I, I caught it very clean and it sort of sent the keeper the wrong way kind of thing. As we all know, defend is first and foremost for you, but I think if, if the records show and they're right, I think that's your 25th career goal as well that, that you've scored, which is not a bad little uh, tally for an out-and-out defender. Is it the best? Um, yeah, it was either that one or a similar one at, at Blackpool. Um, again, came rolling across me, similar area. Um, but yeah, probably... That probably looked better in terms of what what it did to the keeper and and that kind of stuff and and the swerve that was on the ball, um, and it was yeah I just just really happy about it and I didn't know it was twenty five goals by the way that's I'm happy with that. And, and of course you're happy that it got your side at point as well, but you know you're you're a local lad as well and you know lots of people for your family and for your kids. I bet you've been looking at that a few times. Yeah, definitely. Um, lots of friends and family and people around the town as well um, have, have said and stuff, um, which which I'm, I'm really happy about. Um, but <sighs> I was hoping we were going to go on and win the game, to be honest. Um, I know it's, I'm happy to get the point, but I think Mansfield's a tough place to go and, and I think we maybe deserved a bit more than that. Just looking at that bigger picture then now, you know, it's gone three games now unbeaten, which is nice and steady. And it looks as though you brought back in that hard, difficult mentality side to beat. Definitely, yeah. Um, and that's obviously coming from the, the staff and stuff and and everybody's buying in, buying into what, 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 the, what they're saying to us. And, and we're looking like we're starting to believe that, that, we, that we can um, win games and, and that's how we've got to be. We've got to be hard to beat. Um, and you, you, you're always in games if, you, if you're hard to beat. There's a good test for the how much improvement has been made over the last few weeks coming up at the weekend when Stockport arrive. Definitely, um, I didn't play that game. I watched it. Um, it. It looked a tough game, and obviously they're they're in a they're in good form and whatnot. They're they're doing well. Uh, they didn't start the season off very well, but but they've picked up and they've shown that they're they're a, they're a decent side. It's not going to be an easy game and. Obviously, it's a derby, so it's going to be it's going to be a feisty, feisty one for us. Uh, we've got to get up for that, up for the battle, and and hopefully come out on the other side with the with the three points. Does that give everybody a bit extra lift? You've mentioned the derby game; they're going to have probably two thousand supporters. You're going to get a good crowd as well, so the atmosphere is going to be fairly high, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, supporters have been, been brilliant. Um, you heard them on on Saturday; they were they were very loud throughout the game. Uh, I know we were one down for a while, but but they were they were loud. They kept going, and and, and every little helps um, with the fans and 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 stuff. Either just little small minor percentages make a big difference, um, and hopefully it's the same on Saturday. We spoke with the manager, he's keeping us informed with, of course, the January window open. But as a player in in the dressing room, when you see new players come, does that give that little lift? Do you, do you like to see you know the odd few new players coming into you into your club? Yeah, it's it's good. It's good for competition, um, and obviously it's a it's a fresh fresh start for them. Um, so they're they're instantly full of confidence and want to want to prove a point while they're here. Um, so it's it's good. It keeps everything fresh and and like like I say, the competition is, is that's what it's all about. The one thing that changed at, uh, at the weekend, of course, was Arthur Conquo moving out and going to to pastures new. You would have played with quite a lot of goalkeepers as well throughout your career. What was he like? You know, as a as a big six foot six goalkeeper, and what was he like to you know to be in the team? Um, yeah, Arthur, brilliant lad, brilliant lad. Um, it's obviously he's, he's come a long way from when he first was here. Everybody can see that, and 
he's he's just improved week in week out. Um, he's probably the best young keeper I've, I've probably played with um, personally, and I think he will will go on to bigger and better things. And it's an opportunity, obviously, to go to Austria and whatnot and and play against teams like Salzburg and stuff like that. I, I hope it comes off for him. Um, I'm sure it will, um, but it's. It's just a learning curve for him, and it's an opportunity that he couldn't turn down. Um, I just just hope it works out for him. And the thing, what that did is open the door for somebody who's been around the club a few years, who's a great professional, who was unlucky at the beginning of the season. Well, and Dave Richards coming in, and when you think about it, he pulled off two top draw saves, didn't he? Yeah, he kept us in the game um, massively. He was he was obviously he, he, he was ready. He's ready to play. He's been ready to play all season. Just a bit unfortunate that obviously Arthur Arthur's done as well as he has, um, but like you say, he's, he's, he's kept his head strong and he's, 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 a, he's a good good professional um, to have around the building and he's definitely um, looking forward to playing now. And for you and, and the rest of the defenders, it's getting that relationship with him now, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Sometimes you can't understand him, but he's... <laughs> 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 no, I'm only joking. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's brilliant to have. He's, he's nice and loud behind you. You can hear him constantly. And like you say, he pulls off the saves that he made against Mansfield.